I finally have my dream patio and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I did this. Hey all, hey, it's Ashley Renee and welcome back to my sustainable lifestyle, family, and tech channel. I regularly post videos about my smart home, electric car, and other topics related to sustainability. So if you're into that kind of thing, please make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a new video. Now, today's video is super special. It's about my DIY patio makeover project. Y'all, I am so proud of what I did. Like, I cannot wait to show you how I did it. But before I do, let me just make one thing clear. I am not a designer. We built our home three years ago and I still have not gotten around to really decorating. I don't know, is it just me? Let me know in the comments below what home projects you've been procrastinating on. Anyway, without further ado, here is how I transformed my dull, lifeless patio into an outdoor sanctuary. I essentially had two different sections to play with. Part of my patio is screened in and we access it directly from our bedroom. Since it's enclosed, we wanted this space to be where we could relax, lounge, or even bring our laptops out to work if we wanted to. The other part of my patio is completely open and filled with lots of sunlight, which makes it perfect for dining and filling it with vibrant flowers and plants. Now I've traveled all over the globe and I wanted this to remind me of my world adventures. So the screened in section is designed to kind of feel like the cabana area of say like an upscale hotel, while the open air section of my patio is designed to feel like a whimsical outdoor cafe in some beautiful faraway place. My husband calls it Cafe Renee. First, let's talk about this open air section and we'll begin with the dining area. So the very first change we made was putting down an outdoor rug with bright, fun patterns. This one simple modification alone can make a patio start to feel more vibrant. Instead of buying a new table, I kept my old thrifted table that came with a bench, but it didn't have any chairs. So since we were going with blue as the central color for the patio, I found some blue outdoor chairs that I thought would complement the table and rug. And then I put up a huge solar LED patio umbrella in midnight blue. To pull the entire dining area together in a stylishly cohesive way, I mixed and matched a variety of blue tableware, including cloth napkins, plates, bowls, and glasses. And I added an outdoor lantern for both the floor and the tabletop to illuminate the dining area at night. Then there's the plants. Plants were integral to achieving the Oasis themed atmosphere. First, I added three planters with cocoa liners and filled them with colorful flowers to really add some life to the space. The planters were simple to put together. They came with easy to install brackets that I attached to the back of the planter and placed on the deck rail. Once mounted, I created a floral design using a variety of flowers I found at my local Home Depot store, including cone flowers, Coreopsis, Black Eyed Susans, and Angelonias. And the result is a bomb display of vivid blossoms. Then I filled a coconut fiber hanging basket with potting mix and arranged a blend of orange impatience and white periwinkles, which I hung on an iron decorative wall bracket that I drilled into the wall. Underneath that, I planted a beautiful butterfly bush in a cobalt blue ceramic planter. I loved the color so much that I bought a smaller version for my multicolored pink and green Hawaiian tea plant. For a striking architectural statement, I also added a giant fiddle leaf fig plant that has these eye-catching violin-shaped leaves. And honestly, it's a whole vibe all on its own. I love this plant. And because I love the intense pink hue of the Hawaiian tea plant, I bought some celosia flowers that also had a remarkable pink color to it and I included it as a centerpiece for the dining table. On top of vivacious flowers, I also wanted some produce and herbs too. So I allocated various zones for both. First, I tackled the produce zone. I planted grapes last year and because they grow vertically, I needed something tall the tendrils could climb up as it grows. So I ordered a trellis and assembled it together to give my grapes a new home. I transferred them out of the old pot 
that I had it in and into a cute little wood planter box. And then I gave it a roommate by planting a little green bell pepper plant right next to it. Next, I created a zone for my herbs. I found a vintage looking plant stand that I felt could add a touch of enchantment to the area. It came with two shelves that I assembled together using a drill and the screws it came with. It was the perfect place for my mint, purple basil, and lemon balm. The mint I actually regrew from food scraps while the purple basil and lemon balm are newly bought. I also used an adorable green watering can with copper accents and my compost bucket to dress up my herb zone and pull it all together. Next up is lighting. To really give the patio a whimsical vibe, I decided to do a DIY string lights project. I wasn't 100% sure how to do this, but based on the photos I saw on the internet, it looked like all I needed was two pieces of wood to wrap the string lights around and create the look I wanted. So I went to the Home Depot and I bought some eight foot long two by two pieces of wood that I could drill into my deck rail. Then I asked an employee to cut them to the exact size I needed, which was six and a half feet. I painted the two pieces of wood the same color of my deck to ensure it seamlessly blended in. Once I added multiple coats of paint, I used deck screws to secure both pieces to my wooden rail, and then we strung remote control operated dimmable lights all around the patio. This gave the space a whole new look to transform into at nighttime. With outdoor string lights, you can easily transition from day to night with the flick of a switch, giving you a versatile space to enjoy in a myriad of ways. All right, now let's move on to the screened in section of the patio. Since this little slice of paradise is the first place you enter when exiting the bedroom, it feels like a spacious hotel balcony to me, but I also designed it to resemble what you might see next to a pool. So this area has less design elements than the open air section, but it's just as enjoyable. I picked yellow as a central color for this space and kicked off the design with a bubbly yellow rug. I topped the rug with a bohemian style outdoor wicker day bed. While you could technically assemble this yourself, I found it much easier to recruit help. Working together, my husband and I were able to put this together much quicker than if I had attempted to do this alone. It came with white cushions and a pillow, and I added some blue and yellow decorative pillows to bring in some color. The boho style table I ordered was even speedier to assemble with just a tabletop, a bottom layer, and four legs to put together. Then to give the day bed a more, I guess, rustic feel, I weaved stringy ivy leaves through the wicker. Lastly, since this is supposed to resemble a poolside atmosphere, I added a large palm plant to bring on the tropical vibes. This is honestly some of the most fun I've had decorating my home. Like I said, I've just kind of been avoiding stylizing a lot of the rooms in my house because it's just so much pressure to come up with ideas, pick out colors, and then commit to a final design theme. I've only done a few rooms, like the nursery, my office, and a couple rooms in the basement. So this patio DIY challenge really helped me to not only explore my creative side, but actually execute my ideas instead of talking myself out of them. And so now here we are, dozens of trips to the store and online purchases later, I finally have the patio of my dreams. What do you think of the results? Let me know. Personally, I love it. And even if you don't, I hope you at least enjoyed watching this video of how I put it all together. As always, put a thumbs up to like if you like and sub if you love. Until next week, stay green, y'all.